I've covered 16 kilometers on this bike. It's still got three quarters battery and it's so comfortable to ride. The pedal assist function is so easy to use. What's going on guys? Today we're looking at the Fido D2. This is a foldable e-bike. Now I've just got this out of the box and my first impressions are really good. It looks really well built. So let's say you were looking to set this bike up for the first time. I'm gonna show you how. It's really easy. So the bike is in half, so we need to open this up. That's it. You will see here in the center, there's a little silver clip and to lock that in place and there's a little safety pin which we push down on. That secures this in place. Next thing we need to do is lift the handlebars, okay? So let's lift up and turn this around so you can kind of see. And on this side, there's actually a safety latch, just here. I'm gonna clip that in place, and then again, there's a little safety that holds that and secures it in place. And the last thing we need to do is put the saddle in. that locks in place just here. This really is such a great way of getting around. electric now the bike's doing its own work we're going along here at 15 and a half miles an hour and that's impressive isn't it I'm just using the throttle on the accelerator here and we're going along without any effort at all we're up a hill no pedaling oh that's some cool stuff so that's pretty much the basic setup of the bike done I'm going to go through a few of the specs for this bike now and show you some close-ups of those components. So this particular model is the 7.8 amp hour battery version. The batteries are actually lithium ion, they sit in this little stem just here. Now it takes five hours for the batteries to charge fully on this unit. So this bike weighs 19 kilograms and it can support a load of up to 120 kilograms. The wheels on this are 16 inches and they're inflatable. Mine are currently rated at 45 psi for my weight. Bringing me on to the next cool feature of this bike, you've got front and rear disc brakes. They are cable driven. You've got mud guards, front and rear as well. So the motor in this thing is brushless. It's rated at 250 watts and it sits in the rear wheel just there. Under the saddle here, you can see there's a rear shock absorber. Cushions the road a little bit and gives you a smoother ride. And further down, there's a kickstand that holds this bike upright at all times. So this bike has a rated top speed of 15 and a half miles an hour. That's 25 kilometers an hour. That's a steep hill. Let's see how we do on electric only power. Guys, you've got to get one of these. It's awesome. I work it out, I work it out. We have covered 12 and a half kilometers. Now the charger port is located just underneath here. So included in the box, you'll get an instruction manual, a battery user guide, a set of hex keys, Allen wrenches, a wheel nut tool, a set of keys to turn the bike on, a 36 volt wall charger. If you're using the electric power of the motor only and not using pedal assist, this bike should give you 20 to 30 kilometers of range. 
and that's 15 to 21 miles. Now remember that is dependent upon condition and the weight of the rider. Now let's talk about pedal assist. When using pedal assist mode, you should get 40 to 50 kilometers of range out of this bike, which is 24 to 31 miles. Again, this is all dependent on the rider. This bike also has a fantastic 30 degree climbing angle. So if you're going up a steep hill, it'll really help you out. So remember guys, this is a single speed geared bike. It doesn't have gears. So along the left hand side, there's a phone holder. This is adjustable. So I've just slid my phone into the phone holder and it's holding it nice and steady. At the bottom of the phone holder, there's a little port here to plug in to charge your phone. Oh, this is awesome, it really is, really awesome. I can't go over how smooth and easy to ride this bike really is. It's so simple. I can't believe how fast it is. We're absolutely flying along here, flying. Put the key in and now if you turn it, it turns the bike on. You can see the battery level there. The accelerator is just here. You twist it like a throttle and the bike will move. Now on the left hand side, it means you're just pedaling and there's no assistance. In the center, it's fully electric. You can twist the throttle here on the grip and the bike will try and move by itself. And you can still pedal of course. On the right, it's power assist. When you pedal, the electric motor then kicks in to give you some help. So the on off switch here switches a light on and off. The red button is a horn. And it's very loud actually, so no one's gonna miss you coming with that. Now of course you've got the brake levers at the back here and these are all adjustable. So if you wanted to, you can lift them up or down. Everything can be adjusted and moved. And have the handlebars higher or lower if you wanted to. They're all adjustable from here, which is really handy. This bike is really made for anyone and anyone's build. It's quite brilliant like that. And that suspension really does actually help. The kickstand is easy to deploy. Now the saddle on this bike is really well cushioned and it's quite comfortable to ride on. If you want to lift it and lower it, you can do. It's all controlled by that little lever just there. So thank you Fido for sending me this bike in the mail for review and testing today. I can't wait to get out on it. It does look really good. If you buy it from Geek Buying, the link will be below, it's £425 or $521. If you fancy buying it from Amazon, the link will be below, it's £525, $645. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching this video with me and the D2 from Fido. This is an awesome little bike. If you guys are interested in one of these, take a look right down below. See you next time. Bye-bye.